you know, high school football is still one of the last college recruiting aspects where you don't have to worry about the showcase or the travel ball or, or what they do on the high school football field, the relationship with the high school football coach, it still matters to these colleges and these college coaches. It does matter a lot. And I'll give you an even sort of uh, broader perspective on that. When if you go back a hundred years and I know this is a crazy fact <laughs> to bring up, but the most popular sports in our country a hundred years mm -hmm. ago were baseball, boxing and horse racing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to when Coach Collins was born or later when I was born, football was starting to rise, but was not yet the behemoth. Believe it or not, there are a lot of college conferences that made as much money in men's basketball 20 years ago. I'm not talking about the Stone Ages. 20 years ago, they made as much or more in men's basketball as they made in football. Fast forward all the way to 2023, when the professional pollsters just asked Americans, just not just sports fans, but like the, the Americans walking down the street, do you follow Sport X? And they just keep asking you. You're allowed to say more than one. There are only three sports where more than half of American adults say, yes, I follow those sports. They are baseball, a little more than 50%, basketball, a little more than 50%, and football is almost 80%. Yeah, wow. That is not a slight difference. Yeah. And that has not been a, a flick of the switch. Like, you know, when you go to bed, that has been an evolution over maybe not 100 years, but a massive evolution even in my lifetime of more than 50 years. Wow. So we're seeing this high school jamboree that you're talking mm -hmm. about. We're on the verge of, in a couple of weeks, all of those made for TV intersectional college games. The NFL is literally the wealthiest sports organization in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. Like that's not an exaggeration, yeah. <laughs> even bigger than, you know, English Premier League soccer and, you know, Indian cricket and, and all the rest. <laughs> it's incredible how the sport of football has become this behemoth and it's just, I'm excited to be a part of this. We saw the look on some players and cheerleaders' faces as they're going into this big game or pair of games at Wake Med Soccer Park. And it, to me, it just symbolizes this tidal wave of football love that we're all part of right now.